MailChimp newsletter tutorial, how to use MailChimp for newsletters. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with sending newsletters to your contacts using MailChimp. So let's jump right in. To get started, simply head on over to MailChimp.com. Once you go to MailChimp.com, click on sign up. Signing up on MailChimp is completely free. You have a free plan available on MailChimp as well, and you can choose to upgrade as you go. So click on sign up for free on the free plan. Once you do that, you're going to enter your business address. So this is going to be your business email address. Once you've inserted that, you're going to input your username. So I am going to add my username. Then after that, you're going to create a password. Once you have created your password, you're going to click on sign up over here. And once you click on sign up, you can confirm your email address. So I'm just going to confirm our email address on Gmail to proceed with our account creation on MailChimp. Click on activate account in your email. And once you do that, your MailChimp account will now be ready. Now we're going to wait for our MailChimp account to be created and start setting it up. Now, the first thing you have to do is input your first name and last name, and then your business name. You can always change this later in your account settings. Once you do that, click on next. Then you're going to add a address line. So we're going to add a address line like this. Now, once you do that, you can add a second address line. You can add your state slash province, and then click on next. Once you click on next over here, you can add some of your top goals that you want to achieve with MailChimp. I'm going to click skip on these because we're going to jump directly into newsletter creation. So once we have completed our basic setup, we can insert our website's URL. This is something that I recommend you guys do because it can make it easier for you to easier for you to confirm with your email address and then get all of the email or contacts that you have saved on your website imported to MailChimp. So if you're using something like Shopify, you can download the MailChimp integration into Shopify. You can do that for Wix or any other website builder as well. Now, once we have completed this, we can get started with our next step, which is actually creating our newsletter. Now, I will be showing you guys later on in this video how you can send this to your actual participant or to your actual contacts. But first, we're going to build our newsletter. So to do that, you will see in MailChimp, if you click on campaigns on the top left, you have all of your current campaigns. Then you can click on create over here to get started with building your new campaign. Then if you click on email, you have different types of emails. You also have automations, websites, landing pages, sign up forum surveys, ads, and social posts that you can create. To build a newsletter, it usually is going to be an automated journey that a customer is going through. So you can either create it in the form of a campaign or create it in the form of an automation. I would recommend you create it in the form of a campaign and then later on convert it into a automation. If you take a look at some of the pre-built journeys available under the automation section on MailChimp, you will see the newsletter subscription automation and you can easily add people to this particular subscription. So we're going to click on all campaigns and then we're just going to click on create on the top left. Now, once we've done this, we are going to click on create journey and we're going to start building our newsletter journey. Now for this, I'm going to click on see all pre-built journeys and then you can see find and welcome new contacts, nurturing leads. Then we also have support and manage customers, transactional emails. So I am looking for a newsletter. So what I'm going to do is I might want to nurture leads and email the tagged customers. I'm going to click on this and the tag is going to be something like newsletter subscriber. So send two emails like this. So I'll just click on continue and I'll just use this pre-built journey and I'm going to customize this a little as well for my newsletter. So first off, I have to set a tag. The tag is going to be newsletter subs. Once I do that, I'm going to save this as a starting point. So whenever someone subscribes to this particular tag, after one day, I want to send them an email. This is going to include the to and from. So to their email address from Miracle HC. Then we can add our subject for our email or our newsletter, our schedule and our tracking. So for our subject, let's say this is going to be our summer 
24Collection. And then after that, I can also enter some preview text. Preview text appears in the mailbox of your particular customer. To show you guys an example, this is the title and this is preview text. So preview text is what most people read most often if they're not going to open your email address. So you want to make sure your preview text is something so enticing that it makes people up, makes people open up your emails. So I will write something along the lines of summer drop here like this. Once I've done that, I can click on save and then I can enter a schedule. I can click on edit and let's say I only want to be sending out my newsletters on the weekends and then after that I want to add the time of day in which I should be sending the email. Let's say I want to send this as soon as possible on the weekends. Then we have our email tracking so I am just going to complete this. Once we have designed the basic section of our to and from we can start designing our actual newsletter. To do that, click on select a template on the right panel over here. Once you click on select a template, there are different types of templates you can use. Now I'm going to be using a start from scratch section, which is basically a blank canvas. You can use a template if you want. Personally, starting from scratch can help you in building your own innovative ideas. So on the top, you're going to find your logo. Click on set logo on the left once you click on the logo and then upload your own logo image. This is my logo image that I'm uploading over here. Once your logo image has been uploaded, you can choose to alter the alignment by clicking on the different alignment options. You only have four types of alignment options that you can choose from. So first off, I'm going to center this. Then we also have our block background. So in my block background, let's say that I wanted to be a similar color so I will choose the swatches. You will see swatches will be provided based on the logo that you insert and you can just use those. Now below that we have our padding and then we also have dynamic content. Now I'm going to re-add this logo because I want it to be a standard size. And now if I scroll down, I can go into my block background and the hex color is a little off. I feel like it's a little too light. I'm going to go with this one. This is too dark. This looks pretty nice, but it's still a little off. Now it looks pretty seamless. Once I've done that, I can scroll down and I can choose to add or remove the padding. So I'll just remove some of the padding from the bottom to zero or 10. And from the top, I'll make it zero. I'll make it zero from the bottom as well. From the left or right, we can make it zero plus zero. And once we've done that, we can go on ahead and click on done on the top left. Now, once we've completed the steps, we can actually start designing the content of our MailChimp newsletter. So to start designing our content, it's going to be variable across different industries. To get some inspiration, simply head on over to Canva and search for newsletters. Once you search for newsletters on Canva, you will find different newsletters that are available. So let's say I want this to be a fashion newsletter like this. Now, once I do that, and once I do this, I can actually design it in Canva and then import the image on to MailChimp. However, for some people that can be a bit annoying, so they like to directly design on design on MailChimp. But if you remove the buttons, you can really design whatever you want directly on Canva and then have the buttons be imported from MailChimp. So I'm going to create something along these lines like this one. So this is a simple little template available and what you can do is let's say it's going to say Miracle HC and then I will change the font size to 20 on Canva and then after that we have our new arrivals. We have this uh, section and we're going to delete this bar section and instead of get it now I'm going to replace the text to say buy now. Now after that I will go on ahead and click on share and then click on download. I'll download this as a JPEG or PNG. And once this has been downloaded, we're gonna upload it on to MailChimp. Now, once you have uploaded this onto MailChimp, add the image into the image section. You will see it will be uh, imported directly. So once this has been imported, you're gonna go back and click on done. Once you click on done, on the left, you have your content. Click on button in content and drop your button right down below. 
Now, one thing to note is that you're supposed to crop out this button. So you can go on ahead and go into the image and then you can crop the image before you upload it. Or you can also leave it the original buttons and link it to your actual website. But I think I'm gonna go with a cropped version. So I'm just going to remove the bottom section and then download my image once more. So once I have downloaded this image, I'm going to upload it to MailChimp. Now, instead of that one, I will upload this variation of my newsletter. Now I can go on ahead and even alter the layout. So if I want this to be in the form of a layout like this, drop my content over here. So my first content block is going to be an image. And then on the other side, I will put in a button from the left like this. Now taking my same image that we have previously used, I will upload that over here. And instead of the buy now button being on the side or on the bottom, this will be directly displayed on the side. I'll delete the larger section at the bottom over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a link to my website. To do that, I will double click on the button and edit the button text to say buy now or shop now. I think shop now suits better. I'll add shop now over here. Once you do that, you can click on the left panel and link it to your web address. So this is my Shopify store and I'll open this up and then copy. And then once we have copied this, I'll paste it in the left panel over here. Once you do that, you can choose the alignment. So this is going to be at the center, left or right. Then we have the borders, the size, small, medium or large. I want to keep this small. We have the colors. I find the colors to be fine, but I'm going to increase the padding from the top. So the shop now button should appear at a relative center right around here. To do this, adjust the top padding from 12 to around 250. 250 is a bit much, so I'll go with 220. Yeah. So once I set this at 220, I think it looks fine, but the button is too far towards the left so to move it right i will go on ahead and reduce some of the padding from the right section so i'll take this to zero over here and i'll increase the padding from the left section like this still the button looks a bit towards the left so i'm going to increase the padding on the left to 50. i think this looks a bit better i still might want to increase it so i'll go directly with the 60. Yeah, now my shop now button looks pretty good. Once this has been completed on the bottom of our email, we have to enter our footer text. This is very, very important because you need to add your contact info. Otherwise, your emails would be marked as spam. Click on edit contact info and then you will enter your contact information. So over here, we're going to add our phone number. Then you can add your address, postal code, and then your website URL. So I will copy my website URL and then paste that over here. Click on save over here. So once this has been saved, you will see your contact info will be displayed. So this will be your address, your phone, and any other basic contact info that is relevant. Now, once we have completed this, we can choose to add more elements into our newsletter. So if you want to add spaces, paragraphs, images, videos, or more, you can easily drag and drop the content. And if you want to set it up in a different layout, you can go into layouts on the top. Once you click on layouts, you have different layout options, including blank and pre-built layouts. Once you do that, you can click on optimize on the left. Once you click on optimize on the left, this will show you any links or merging tags that you can improve upon. Now I can go into styles and edit the style for the desktop and the mobile version. This is especially important when you are looking at the mobile version because in the mobile version, the email can seem a bit wobbly because you designed it in terms of a desktop. So for that, just go into the mobile version and adjust the overall, overall settings. So you can adjust the fonts and the paddings to better suit a mobile device. Once these edits have been completed, click on save and return to journey on the top right. Once you click on save and return to journey, you're going to, you're going to be led back into your customer journey. So after that, there is going to be a three day delay. I don't want that. I am just going to remove that and just delete this. So this is just going to be my newsletter subs for May. And then once we have this, I can go on ahead and click on upgrade to continue. 
So I can go on ahead and upgrade and, you know, complete my actual customer journey. Now, what happens if I want to, if I want to customize the full setup and if I want to link this to Shopify? So if you're wanting to link your newsletter subscription with MailChimp into Shopify or any other website, simply go onto that website and open up the app store. For Shopify, you can go into settings on the bottom left and then click on apps and sell shop. Again, open up the Shopify App Store by clicking on the Shopify App Store tab on the top right. Now over here, you're going to search for MailChimp. And MailChimp has a very, very large presence online, but they have an application for almost every other website builder. Install the MailChimp application into your website builder. And once you install the website, once you install the application for MailChimp, you will be able to import contacts and sync them. So we're going to install MailChimp for Shopify over here to start automating the process of our newsletters. Add this over here and log into your MailChimp account simply by clicking on login. Now over here, you're going to have to authorize MailChimp access to your website builder. And once you add MailChimp to your website builder, you're going to go on ahead and click on authorize now. Now, once you have authorized it, click on sync now to sync your store data. They can click on sync now over here and link your audiences. Once you link your audiences, you have subscribed and non-subscribed audiences from where your customers, uh, customer tags are going to be synced up. And whenever you have a synced up MailChimp and Shopify, you guys can see we have two products, three products that are now being synced, our contacts, orders, promo codes. Now I can set journeys and encourage customers to visit our Shopify store again and start building newsletters like so. So for our newsletters that are linked from Shopify, we can go on ahead and go into tag syncing, make sure all our tags are synced, activate custom tags, and we can go on ahead and start adding our own tags. But what I'm going to do is I can just go into audience and go into encourage customers to visit our Shopify store. Click on see journey and build that journey in MailChimp. So you're going to go back into MailChimp and you will see now it will recommend journeys that are linked with Shopify. So create repeat customers that is linked with Shopify, WooCommerce, and other tools. And in this way, you can start building your newsletters on MailChimp. It's a really simple and easy way, but make sure you are compliant with all the legalities of sending out emails because you can send out subscription emails to people that aren't subscribed. And if you do end up making that mistake, MailChimp can actually flag your account and your account would be removed. So keep that in mind before you start sending subscription emails to emails that are not subscribed. Now, once you have completed building your newsletter, it's very pivotal that you are able to see how they are performing, whether or not they are bounced emails, people are opening them up, what are the overall statistics and the click-through rates of your emails. To do that, simply click on analytics on the left panel in your MailChimp dashboard. Once you do that, you can open up analytics and you will see some sample data. You will see your performance for your store or your website and the click-through rate of your emails. Then you also will see the total message count, the total messages sent in terms of both emails and SMS. You will also see your conversion funnels, what, how many deliveries you have, how many emails are opened, how many emails are clicked on, and then how many orders are received from those clicked on emails. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to build your own newsletters on MailChimp. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.